Well, I need to mount the power steering cooler, so I'm thinking about putting it right there. All right, this is just a quick video of installing a power steering cooler in my 2003 Jeep TJ with the oversized tires to 33 by 12 and a half and the dual shock steering stabilizer on the bottom. There may be a possibility of the power steering pump working too hard and to prolong the life of your power steering pump and your power steering box, your oil has to stay somewhat cool. So this is my video of installing a power steering cooler. I've already got one of these rubber clips to go around and then I gotta take my return line off the power steering get that cut and then cut it off the tank we'll drain it and then we'll start running new lines alright you gotta make sure you cut the right fitting and that one right there is your pressure line you don't want to cut that one but this one here is the one we want to cut because it's got a little steel end on it and we're gonna cut that clip and then we can pull that hose off we're gonna have to cut it off at the power steering pump too Okay, I got the hose off and I just got it pissing out in uh, oil catch pan blow. I'll wait for that drain and we'll take the one off the back of the reservoir. So I removed the pressure line here and I got the hose off right down here where my finger is. Probably not going to see it that good. But it's plastic so you want to be careful. I used my air saw right here and was able to get in there and cut that clamp off so I could pull it off. So now we're going to start feeding a hose and seeing how this is all going to go. I just got the line on the return on the bottom now realistically I don't have the tools to do it to bend that pipe but you'd realistically would like to cut it and then bend it up at a 90 degree angle here to feed it to your power steering cooler but I don't have a pipe bender to do that so what I'm just gonna do is do a loop around and to a cooler which is a little bit longer but it'll still work hopefully Feeding the hose on that bottom nipple down there is tighter than a nun's cunt, I tell you. Holy fuck. I got everything connected and I may... I'm gonna have to put a piece of rubber or something around here because it's gonna rub on the steering shaft there and that'll eventually come a hole. Coming through there. From the back side there, I just attached it right up front. And I use those little clips right there to hold it in, rubberized clips. And then in the back here, I put those foam sticky tabs on the pole and then I just zip tied them on there. They're not going nowhere. Because the kit comes with these to punch through the rad. I didn't really want to go that route, so I just mounted it right up there in case if I have any issues, I can just fucking quickly disconnect the hose and run it up. It's time to have some motherfucking PBR. Cheers. And of course, don't forget to top up your oil. Well, let's see what's gonna happen when we start her up. <coughs> anyway, it's pretty fucking simple, eh? However, you could use their methods of just using those zip ties and put it right to the rad. Um, I want mine separate and away from the radiator for a little bit more efficient cooling. Anyways, you can mount it anywhere you fucking want. I don't care. I'm drinking beer. See if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.